Before they do, can I ask Mwishimiwa Moses Kuria, Waziri Moses Kuria, please come over and at least say one or two things uh, <laughs> to the audience. I know I welcome you to Kisumu and I'm not going to let you go back to Nairobi today. Familia ya Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Baba Laira Amor Odinga Youth Leader Nuguyangu Obur Odinga Mama Aida Odinga Mama Margaret Kenyatta Na watu wa Kisumu Nyaduro Auntie Nyaduro Umoro Nimekuja hapa kusherekea hii sherehe ya miaka 30 for one of my early mentors when I was a young man. I remember as a student reader in the University of Nairobi, I met Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. And I remember we were accompanied tulipelekwa kwa Jeramogi na chairman wetu wakati huo mheshimiwa TJ Kajwang who is here pia tulikuwa with our secretary general governor Uchiro yako who is here today na wakati huo moi alikuwa amekataa kurejesta chama chetu cha wanafunzi cha sonu Na jaramogi, tulipo waida kumuona, haka tusukuma mpaka iyo chama yetu ikakuwa registered. I remember one time, TJ Kajwang and myself, we went to see the then attorney general, Amos Wako, who was here today. And Amos Wako told me, young man, I understand your position, but my hands are tied. <laughs> And he could not do anything about it. So I must work I don't know whether he's still around. He was trying to convince us. Just accept, accept to be expelled. Mukubali tu mfukuzo katika university. Wakati tulifukuzo kutoka university. Jeramogi ogiga odinga. Pika simu. Akatafuta. Mutu wanaitua Gerard Otieno Kajwang. Na haka muamulisha. Aende mpaka At 6 p.m. And that's how I managed to finish my university courtesy of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Kabisa. Kabisa. Later, when Jaramogi died, I remember we went to Bondo. We went to Bondo to bury Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. And I remember James Olengo almost took over the funeral ceremony with his famous quote of Mark Anthony. One year later, during the first Teloburu, when he went to Kangoka Jaramogi, and Moi said that there is not going to be live music. Na kumbuka ilikuwa samoja jioni. DC wa wakati huo, alikuwa naitua kilitu wa mai. Akatupa tia gazi usiku. Na kumbuka tukipitia pahali kuna cactus, huko kakango kajaramogi. Tukiwa na oburu in a very small hole. So therefore, I come here today to celebrate a legend. And to celebrate a part of Kenyan history that shall never be taken away. The challenge we have, as we honor Jaramogi today, is to be that generation that can make a difference. I believe, deep down in my heart, that we can relieve and relaunch the nationalist credentials that Jaramogi and others lived. It may not be from a monolithic thinking, as it was when Jaramogi and Kenyatta teamed up. It may not be from the same political party but we can have an agreement on things that we can never have a dispute about 
we can agree on a set of ideals that brings Kenya together. May God rest Jaramogi Ogiga Odiga in eternal peace. Asante sana. Asante sana Waziri Moses Kuria. Can we have order in the house please? Tafadhali. Asante sana. Asante sana. Now we are going to have uh, presentations from abroad from four scholars in Great Britain and the US who have studied Kenya very well in politics and economics and who knew Jaramogi as many of us do. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to request them to take five minutes each. I hope the electronics is ready for me to call Professor David Throop of George Washington University. He will be followed by Professor John Lonsdale of Cambridge University. And then our brother John Kamau, who is a well-known journalist in Kenya, but currently is doing his postgraduate studies and in Toronto, writes very good articles in the papers, well researched from archives and so on. And finally, from Professor Robert Mason of West Virginia University.